As I promised last week, I am back here today to show you guys what I saw in the New York City store last week. We had a beautiful event. It was such a fun night. I brought a few friends with me and we had some champagne, we had some snacks. I mentioned that on the other video. But today I'm actually finally sharing everything that I tried on. So they did not have all the pieces from the new collection. By the way, today is a new drop. so. I'm pretty sure by the time you guys watch this, you probably have seen already the new pieces that launched and I would love to hear from you guys if you're planning to get something. I do not know if I'm going to buy anything at this point. I might go to the store this week just to do a few try-ons and see everything in person. Hopefully they have it already, but I would definitely share everything that I see. So I'm going to be talking about these today. I just wanted to let you guys know that everything is linked below for a very easy shopping. So the first piece that I wanted to talk about real quick and I'm going to be reviewing next week is the Christy jacket. I finally found one that I really liked and I really wanted to try. So I got this one in taupe. The matching pants, which I think are so beautiful. They're called the Florentino pants. I have it linked below. Of course, I had to try the Pampa shirt because it's just hot. <laughs> piece of art. As soon as I saw that on the website, I thought it was the most beautiful thing. And I love like those colors together. I think it's such a beautiful statement piece. I have yet to try with other bottoms and see if it's going to be versatile. And of course, a staple piece that it's been with Cezanne for so many years, the wool jacket. I do not own any others, but I did try a few in the New York City store. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys now. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today is the new drop uh, by Cezanne and I'm very excited to see all the pieces. I already saw the lookbook on Friday and some pieces were really promising. There is one skirt that I've been waiting for so long called the Gilly skirt. So that's something I would love to get but I still have to think about the other ones because I do have a lot of pieces already that I got from the fall and also from spring that I'm actually still wearing. So. Today we're going to start actually talking very quickly about this jumper that I'm wearing. It's the Lina sweater. I won't talk too much about it because I already shared a full review on this one. If you guys have watched my previous videos, you probably know that I have the A Crew. That was my first one. Then I was dying to get the black, but it was sold out for so long and now it's finally available. So this one is just very special because of the buttons. I have one friend, Regine. Uh, she's a follower but has become a friend of mine. We talk every single day on Instagram and the first thing she said about this jumper is that it had its own jewels, you know, like the jewelry because the buttons are just so beautiful. They have this gold rim and it just looks amazing. It looks like you're actually, you don't need earrings, you don't need a necklace. You put this on and you're ready to go. So it's a gorgeous sweater. It's 100% merino wool very comfortable and I highly recommend. I also got the raspberry color. This is one sweater that I ended up getting all three colors just so you see how much I love it. I've been wearing that a lot too. So highly recommend Lina. If you're not sure about the colors I would say go with the black because you can't go wrong with it. Especially now during the fall and winter I think it's a color that is just perfect. You can't go wrong with it. Now going ahead I'm going to talk about Lisette so Lisette is a version of a Maya jumper. If you guys are familiar with Amaya, it is the same exact print and the same fabric. However, the neckline is different. And I don't know if I told you guys, but I already returned or sold all my three Amayas. And I'll tell you why. So the thing is, I think the sweater is gorgeous. And I really wish uh, it worked for me. But the neckline, it makes it unflattering on me. So that's very personal. I've seen on other people and I think it's stunning. But for me, every time I have a sweater that goes all the way up here, it just doesn't look very interesting. It doesn't look nice. It makes my, my shoulders go even wider than they are. And I don't know, it's just not flattering. It makes it really boxy. I don't have a problem with boxy actually because I have so many other pieces that look boxy but I still love. For some reason, the Amaya with the neckline is not, it's not for me. So I hope they make Lisette in different colors because I absolutely love the fit of this. So this one I actually wore in extra small and I found that in the New York City store. I was very excited because they gave us 10% off. 
So I was able to get this one with a little discount. Love the buttons and all the details, it's so beautiful. This one's 33% polyamide, 32% wool, 32% kid mohair, and 3% elastane. So because of the mohair, you will have a little bit of itch. So if you're sensitive to it, I just wanted to let you know. It doesn't bother me that much, and I'm wearing the extra small, so I will likely not put anything underneath. And I think it's fine. I think it's very flattering. It's not too low. I decided to try this the extra small because of that. I felt like the small would have been too open, so I decided to go with the size down. I have all my measurements below if you guys are wondering about sizing. Now, before I talk about these, I want to go over the things that I found in the New York City store. So, I tried the comb jumper in the color vintage blue and it's gorgeous. It's just so, so beautiful. I had tried that before in the brown color they have, but I think the vintage blue is just so pretty. I didn't get it because I have already something similar. I have the Gaspard and I also have a Alma jumper in the similar color, so I decided not to, but it's beautiful. It does have a little bit of itch, and just so you guys know, I am wearing the size small, my usual size. I think it's a good size just to stick to yours. You could size down, but I feel like the, the small was actually a great fit for me. I didn't get this one, but I really loved to try. I think it's a beautiful sweater. Now, another one that I really loved was the Leah jumper. They have it now. It's one that has the uh, scalloped color. It's just so pretty. And I also tried in a similar blue, but you notice that this one is slightly uh, brighter and like more saturated than the comb jumper. So they are both blues, but the Leah is actually a little more saturated. I like the comb jumper more. I just love that color. I think it's so, so pretty. But the Leah I am trying in small and I think I should have sized down because when you see on the website, it actually looks a lot more fitted on, on the model. And I think that's the look you want, you know, unless you want something more oversized. But I don't feel like the Leah is meant to be oversized. I think more fitted is nicer. So for Leah, I would just size down to an extra small. Now, another sweater that I was so curious and I wanted to try is the Larissa, Larissa jumper. It's the beautiful sweater that has so many colors. It looks like a painting. It's just so pretty. But again, I have that problem with the neckline, so I didn't bring it home. I really wanted, I was very tempted because the colors are actually so pretty together. It does have a lot of colors, but they are kind of pastel and they look really pretty. I think it's so beautiful. If they had that in a with a different neckline, I would totally have gotten. So I am trying the extra small in the video, but I had tried before Amaya in two different sizes, the extra small and the small, and they both fit. So it really depends on how you want the sweater to look on you. Extra small is more fitted, of course, and the small gives you more room in case you want to put something underneath. So something to keep in mind for sure. Another one that I was so curious to try on was the Susanna and I wanted to see in person because as soon as I saw the sage color, like um, kind of green, blue, I was just in love with it. I had seen the pink before and also an A crew, but when I saw the green, I said I need to try that. So I didn't order, but I was hoping that I would find in the store and I did. So I tried on in the size extra small and I think it's a good size, just like Lisette. So for those two, because they have a really V, like open V neck, I would say size down because then that gives you, you know, like confidence to actually walk and bend down without showing everything. However, if you plan to wear something underneath, then you would just stick to your size. I think it's better. It's a very beautiful sweater and reminds me of uh, Lison, which is one that I have that it's like an emerald green, super bright, super beautiful. Yeah, just absolutely beautiful. I love, love the color, love the style. The fabric is really nice. It does have a little bit of itch because it has mohair, but absolutely beautiful. Now we can finally start talking about the jacket. So I found Will jacket, which is something I had never tried. I found the pink one, which is so cute. That one actually has a shearling inside, it's like a Sherpa jacket. It is in corduroy. It's a really warm and nice and cozy jacket. Of course, it is boxy because that's how Will is. It is uh, like tomboy style, although with the pink, I think it kind of has this mixed 
feeling and I think it's really beautiful. Um, I'm not a fan of pink so I definitely did not get this one because I don't think it goes very well with most of my wardrobe. But I think it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. And now they have so many others. They have a beautiful green, a blue uh, in corduroy as well. And now they have that new one which is uh, kind of a crew in beige. Love it. So the thing with Will is I noticed is that each fabric and color is going to be a different size. So as you guys can see, I tried the pink in, in medium and it's actually a good size. I like the medium more than small, I think, because that would help me layer some pieces underneath. So if you're planning to get the Will in pink, I would say maybe size up or get your usual size if you guys don't want to layer like a lot of pieces. I feel like now in the fall, I want to be cozy and warm, so I think it makes more sense to get the medium, but it's just a matter of taste. I think either one would be fine. Now the blue one, the denim, I noticed that the small, it was okay, but if I want to try, if I want to put something underneath, that would not work. It would have been too small. So the blue one is small, the black one is medium, and they both fit fine, but like I said, you have to just see how you want to wear it. If you want to layer, if you just want to put something very lightweight underneath, then get your usual size. If you want to layer with a thicker sweater, then size up. The will in denim blue, it's a lot thinner than the, the washed black. So the washed black, I think it's more of a, I won't say stiff, but it's more of a, like it has presence, you know? The other one, the blue, it just feels a little more lightweight. So if you're planning to wear that as a fall piece, I think it would work better as a layer piece just for the beauty of it than to actually keep you warm. The black one definitely is thicker. So they're all really gorgeous. I really love Will. I had mixed feelings with it because I usually don't go for boxy style because on my shoulders they're a little bit wide. And usually when I wear something boxy, it just makes me really big here and then it covers my waist. And then it just makes me like one whole block. But Will, I feel like depending on the bottoms that you wear, it's going to be just a lovely fit. Now the other jacket that I tried that I was really curious is the Christie jacket. That's another staple piece by Cezanne and I have seen so many people wear it. I love the, the Christie jacket. I think it's a beautiful style, super chic, super elegant. And I tried the beige one, but they didn't have my size. So I tried the 38 or size six. You can see it's a little bit too big on me. I feel like the size 4, which is my usual size, my measurements up below, it would have been better. It would have been a better fit. I actually got the taupe, which I'm going to be sharing next week, so you guys stay tuned and I'm going to talk everything about it. Other one that I tried was the Michelle jacket, which is so pretty. It really gives me like a Belmont uh, in a um, Chanel vibe because of the buttons. It's like such a statement when you have that contrast with the gold buttons and the, the navy uh, fabric. I think it's a beautiful coat. I did try a size up as well because actually I didn't ask to try that but my friend who was with me, that's Pam. Hi Pam. She was trying some jackets and I said, you know what, <laughs> let me just try them. So she tried most of them in size medium, like a six, and then I just got the opportunity and I tried them as well, just to share with you guys. So the Michelle jacket, I would say just stick to your usual size. The size six is a little bit too big for me, so I think the four would have been better, but it's a beautiful jacket. They're not warm, okay, so keep that in mind. They do have some wool in their composition, but they're not super warm. The warmest one that I've tried is definitely the taupe, which is the one I'm going to be sharing next week. So going ahead, I wanted to show you guys very quickly the Luan dress. I had tried that before, so it will be really quick because I just wanted to show how the black looks like. I have tried the beige one, which I loved, but again, it was a very boxy fit. It didn't work for me, but it's a beautiful option if you're thinking about wearing with a jacket or maybe with over the knee boots. I think it's going to be really beautiful. It's very warm and it's such a like cozy piece. I think it's an amazing piece for fall, so if you're planning to get a sweater dress, I think one is beautiful. It's just not my style and it didn't work with my body frame, but definitely something that I would consider if I had a different body. Now I wanted to talk about one piece I found from the archives, which is this Cordelia dress. I'm trying that with the tights, those are so cute, like with polka dots, they're really beautiful. I, I was really 
interested in trying this one because I returned the Thali dress. The Thali dress I tried in two different sizes and it just didn't work for me. So I've been in a search for a, a black dress and I can't find. This one is really pretty. I love the style. I think uh, it's not very warm, you know, but if you're planning to wear that during the fall, you can easily put a jacket on. The only thing is that it felt a little bit too short. So I'm still deciding if I'm gonna keep that or not. I would totally wear that with a coat, like a jacket on the top of it, but not as is because it just shows all my curves and it's short. So I normally choose between short or curves. I never combine the two of them because it just feels like too much, but that's really personal. So the dress is really pretty. I'm wearing the size small. And like I said, I think it fits very well. The only thing is that the bottom is a little bit too short for me. Now, the James jumper, I will talk very briefly because I have a full review on this one, but I wanted to give an information that I think would be really helpful. I tried uh, the olive one, which I think is beautiful. I saw that from Zori Mori, and I was really, you know, intrigued. I wanted to try and see if it was comfortable. It's very comfortable. I feel like this striped one is the most comfortable. It's more chunky, more, more plush, you know? Uh, and the thing with the striped is that the, the they're both medium, but the striped one is smaller. So please keep that in mind. If you're planning to get this color, I would just stick to your usual size. I tried the extra small in the rosewood. It was tiny, 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 tiny. But I feel like the fabric is more similar to the striped one than this. So maybe I would say the rosewood in medium the striped one in medium and this one in small. I think that would be the perfect size for my body. So if you have similar measurements, I would say just stick to your size for the olive one because it is definitely bigger than the striped. I think I'm keeping this one. I'm not going to exchange for a small because I like the, the chunky way and the size like being big. I don't really mind oversized. But just in case you guys are wondering, they're not the same, okay? So medium for that, medium for striped, but this one's bigger. I have a full review, so I won't be talking much about it, but this one is 60% cotton, 15% polyacrylic, 14% alpaca, 6% polyamide, and 5% merino wool. So the other one is 100% merino wool, just keep that in mind. They don't have the same composition, and although it feels super soft, the other one, the striped one, is just like heavenly soft, you know, and very plush. This one's slightly thinner and also it runs larger than the other. Now, the next one I wanted to talk about is this dress called Stella. I also found that in the archives. And the reason I got that is because I had tried this dress, the Thalia, and I, I was wondering how different they would be. So this one obviously is more green. It has more yellow to it, more like a khaki green. And I love the fit. Just so you guys know, this one is slightly thicker than the Thalia dress. This one's thinner. And the other thing is it has more texture. So if you're concerned about the dress showing, you know, everything on the inside, like your skin or cellu cellulite, that kind of stuff, I would say this one will hide more than the, the Thalia. I think the fit is beautiful. There is a YouTuber that I follow and I love her videos. She actually shared this a while ago. And since then I wanted to try, but I couldn't find the dress available. But now that I found in the archives, I'm thinking about keeping this one. Still deciding if I'm gonna keep this one or the Thalia, because they're both beautiful, but I don't need the two of them, I just need one. So this one is a midi dress, and I think it will look lovely with a coat or just as is. So this one is 72% viscose and 28% polyester. It has some polyester in it. I don't feel any discomfort. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous dress. Now going ahead, this one I'll call, I'll talk to, this one I'll talk about very quickly because I have a full review on Chloe, but I had to share with you guys because this color is stunning. I think this is probably my favorite one. I have three Chloe's and this one is by far my favorite. This green is a dream. <laughs> I didn't plan to say that. <laughs> but I tried those two together. You guys will see my reels I'm sharing on the screen. And I think they complement each other so well. I tried this dress like reversed, that in the back and this in the on the front with Chloe and I think it was a gorgeous combination. I also wore the belt, the bottle green, 
and I think it's beautiful. So Chloe is a silk, 100% silk top. In this one, I'm, I'm wearing in size 36 or size 4 US. I love that shirt so much. Now this one has probably a similar composition to the Estella dress. It's 72% viscose and 28% polyester. But like I said, this one is slightly thinner than the other. I brought this, um, I'm actually wearing Lina because I wanted to compare colors. This can sometimes, depending on the lighting, look um, like black. So it's a really, really dark green. If you don't want this to, you know, if you don't like the idea of having a dress that will look like black, then I would say it's not for you, but I think this color is just beautiful. The dress is completely, you can see like it has this cut that is already curvy. So I love how it fits. I think it's a beautiful piece. Someone here on my channel actually said, Mila, did you try the Thalia dress? And I said, you know, it's a bodycon. I'm not going to try because I think it's going to be weird on me. But then I tried and I really liked it. I think it's a beautiful piece, but you can't hide anything. You can either wear shapewear underneath or you're going to have to just layer because this one reveals everything. This one I'm wearing size small, just so you guys know. And the last piece is the Leo coat, which I promised to talk about last time. So this one I found on eBay for a really good price. It is size 36 or 4 US. And I had shared this briefly before when I went to this store. But this one I got for a really good price, probably half of it. And I just think it's so beautiful. I am wearing my usual size and I think it's great. Just keep in mind if you have a measurement a little bit higher than mine, a little bit bigger than mine, you, will, you might have a problem closing this last button here, at least for the hips, because that's exactly where it hits. It hits, on, it hits my hips. So because of that, if I'm wearing a chunky knit, that would probably be a little snug to close. But other than that, I think the size is perfect. This has a really, you know, style like of its own. I think it's a beautiful piece. This color shows a little bit green sometimes, a little bit blue. So it's definitely in between those colors. I think it's a great coat. This one's 100% virgin wool. So if I'm not wrong, that's the only color that has that. The other ones are mixed materials. So that makes it really worth it in my opinion. It is warm, okay? It's not a winter coat. I'm not gonna say it's a winter coat. I would have to put a few layers to make this work for our winter here in New York. But it's definitely like thick and warm. It's also warmer than the Pauline coat which I shared last week so if you're wondering like the difference between them I would say this one is a little bit thicker it doesn't have any curves it's just a straight fit but like a oversized uh, style and I think it really adds interest to any outfit it's really gorgeous so that is the end of our video I hope you guys enjoyed next week I'm going to be reviewing the Pampa shirt along with Christy jacket the Florentino pants and also will jacket hopefully i will get a chance to go to the store this week i want to return a few pieces so i would definitely do a try on and share with you guys so stay tuned if you don't follow me on instagram yet it's mila new york and again all the, these pieces and everything that i mentioned in the video are all linked below so you guys can just click on them and find the pieces thank you so much for watching and i hope you have an amazing day bye see you next week